Hi everyone, I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to my channel again. Today I'll solve a case study question from your application of derivative maximum minima. It is NCRT Applied Mathematics for class 12. So let us that read the question. A farmer has a piece of land. He observed that he got 600 units of fruits per tree by planting up to 25 trees. And when 26 trees were grown, he received 15,210 units of fruits. For 27 trees, he ended up with 15,390 fruits. And for 28, he got 15,540 fruits. And this sequence of production of fruits continues in the same pattern as more trees in excess of 25 were grown. So based on this, you have to answer some questions. Five parts are there. Question one, if X is more number of trees, the excess of 25 are grown, then the number of fruits produced per tree is 600 minus 15x, 600 plus 15x, 600x minus 15, 600x plus 15. The production of entire garden of x more trees in the excess of 25 are planted 25 plus x into 600 plus 15x, 25 minus x, 600 minus 15x, 25 plus x, 600 minus 15x, 25 plus x, 15x minus 600. Question three is marginal production of the garden when x more trees in excess of 25 are planted. It will be 225 plus 30x, 225 minus 30x, 225 plus x, 30 plus 30, 25x minus 30. The critical point of producing x mode unit of trees is 7, 8, 7.5, and 8.5. The number of trees to be grown to get maximum production is 30, 31, 32 or 33, 33 or 34, 34 or 35. So we'll go one by one. So you can pause the video, you can write answer yourself. You can take time to read the questions very carefully. So I'm going to for question number one. Now question number one is, if X number of more trees, the excess of 25 are grown, then the number of fruits produced per tree is 16, 600 minus 15X, 600 plus 15X, 600X minus 15 and 600 plus 15. So if we'll see, read the question very carefully, for 25, it will be 600 per tree. Now, when it is 26 trees, we are getting 15,200. That means 15,210 divided by 26, I am getting 585 fruits per tree. That means it is 600 minus 50 and for 27 i am getting 15390 so if i divide 15390 to get the fruits per tree i am getting here 570 per tree so it will be 600 minus 30 similarly for 28 we are getting 15 540. If we we'll divide again 15540 divided by 28, we'll get your 15 less than that. That means it will be your 555. So it will be 600 minus 45. So what does it mean? It means 
for one tree, I am getting 15 lakhs. For two tree, so the whole it will be 600 minus 15 into 1, 15 into 2, 15 into 3, so on. So what will the answer? It will be 600 minus 15 into x. It is decreasing. So one part 1 is the answer of the first question. Question number 2. So we have written the answer here. The production of entire garden, if x number more trees in excess of 25 are planted, then the what? What will be the number of fruits? So certainly we have got this one per tree. So it will be x number of more trees. So it will be 25 plus x. It will be then 25 plus x number of trees multiplies per tree. I'm getting 600 minus 15x. So you have to identify which answer is correct. This is 25 plus x into 600 my plus 15x. So this is not correct. 25 minus x, 600 minus 15x. This is also not correct. This will be the correct. 25 plus x into 600 minus 15x. So third is the answer. Next is part three. The marginal production of the garden when x number of more trees in excess of 25 are planted, then it will be 225 plus 30x, 225 minus 30x, 225 plus 30, 225x minus 30. So what is the production? Production is equal to 25 plus x into 600 minus 15x. So if the marginal production will be the derivative of the production. So dp2 dx is equal to 25 plus x constant. Here, derivative is minus 15 plus 600 minus 15 is constant. Derivative of 25x is 1. 600 minus 15x, sorry. So now simplify, it will be 25 into 15. 375 negative minus 15x plus 600 minus 15x. So it will be minus 30x and it will be 225. So 225 minus 13x is the answer. Where is the answer? This is 200 plus 30x. No, 225 minus 30x. So second one is the answer. Four, the critical point of producing x more unit of trees is critical point is means where the value of x when the dp2 dx is zero. dp2 dx is zero means we got 225 minus 30x is zero. So x is equal to 225 divided by 30 that would be 225 divided by 30, it will be 7. Seven point five. So it will be 7.5. 7.5 is the answer. Next. If the number of trees to be grown for maximum production, that means when the production is maximum, what will be number of trees? So number of trees will be 25 plus 7.5. It will be 32.5. So what will the answer? Answer will be either 32 or 33. This will be the answer. It should be more than 33, 32 or 33. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Let's meet in another video. Thank you for subscribing the channel.